Hey, I'm Skyler. If you're curious about how big of a file you could open on your iPad, let's think about RAM. I'm just looking at the Wikipedia entry for iPad, and over here on the right-hand side, I see some specifications about its central processing unit, its storage capacity, and its memory. So the first generation only had 256 megabytes of RAM. The third and fourth generation have a gigabyte. Now, what this means practically is that you can open a file that is pretty large. Uh, take into account that a high-definition movie downloaded from the iTunes store is about 4 gigabytes. I think The Hobbit is something like 6.2. So you could actually buffer a quarter of a high-definition movie into RAM. It doesn't work quite that way, though, because the operating system has a whole bunch of other things that it's doing with a small amount of RAM whenever you're working on the device. So if you've ever been, say, watching a movie when suddenly the application you were using just quit um, or it became unresponsive or very sluggish, this would mean that whatever you had open was using a bit too much RAM. So you would have to press your home button twice and like Keynote, for example. That's probably sucking up a bunch of my system resources, even though it's technically um, in kind of suspended animation. It's not actually running in the background. It is still using a tiny, tiny bit of material. So I'm going to turn off all of these. And that will have a slight impact on the total amount of memory that I have available. So once I've done that, I could pretty easily you know, go into something like OmniGraffle. So something like this, I can very easily now fluidly zoom in on, because I'm not trying to do a whole bunch of different things at once. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.